This is the Samsung Galaxy Z Fold 2 5G, and I'm gonna show you all the reasons why it's the foldable to get in 2020. I'm Andrew Martinick with Digital Trends, and I'm gonna go over every way that Samsung took the Galaxy Fold and turned it up a notch for 2020 with the Galaxy Z Fold 2 5G. It really comes down to three main areas, an overall spec increase, a complete change to the way that the hinge functions, and brand new screens front and back. The big upgrade for the Galaxy Z Fold 2 is on the inside, the specs and features that you can't see, where Samsung is really justifying this high price with all of the specs from the Galaxy S20 and Note 20 Ultra. So that means you're getting a Snapdragon 865, you're getting 12 gigabytes of RAM, and you're getting this triple camera that'll be very familiar to anybody that's seen a modern Samsung phone. It has a standard camera, an ultra wide camera, and a 2X zoom camera. So you're really getting the top of the line camera experience out of of any phone, foldable or otherwise, in this foldable form factor, which is fantastic to see. You also get the rest of Samsung's core Galaxy features in terms of fast wireless charging, reverse wireless charging for smartwatches and other accessories, and uh, fast wired charging through USB-C, and you're getting regular stereo speakers out of the top and bottom. So when you hold it in the landscape, you get a much more immersive experience to meet that big screen. Now a foldable phone, especially one this big, is only as good as its hinge. And Samsung found that out very, very quickly with the original Fold that had this same design externally, but had a different hinge mechanism entirely that let dust and debris inside the hinge and ultimately inside to the screen. With the Galaxy Z Fold 2, the hinge is completely redesigned, and you'll notice that it has more of an infinity-style hinge that can hold the screen at any angle. Samsung officially supports it between 75 and 115 degrees, so you can use it at different angles, whether you're holding it vertical or not. But of course, it still snaps flat and locks into this position using cams all along the interior of the hinge. But the big part of the hinge that brings so much reliability to this model over the previous one is it actually has little bristles all along the inside of the hinge and new end caps on the outside so that every time you open and close this phone with that satisfying click on both ends, of course, the bristles lift out little bits of dust and keep them from going inside the hinge mechanism. And of course, when it's open like this, it's fully sealed and closed. Now, it's not good enough to give it a dust resistance rating, but it should be good enough to keep this phone working for months and years to come. Even the second generation of the first Galaxy Fold was a big upgrade in reliability, and I have no doubt that this one is miles ahead of that old design. The biggest change to the experience of using the Galaxy Z Fold 2 are the displays. Of course, there are two displays. The cover display on the outside is now usable. The first one really was just for show. It was so small you could barely interact with it. But this is a 6.2 inch display with obviously much smaller bezels. So even when this thing is folded over and it's like 17 millimeters thick and it weighs 280 grams, it's still very usable as a regular phone in one hand. There's plenty of room to swipe around, use your widgets and apps. You can scroll through feeds, send messages, even if the keyboard is a little cramped but you're not gonna use it that way all that often. The big appeal of the Fold is of course the interior display. And this one is dramatically improved as well. It's 7.6 inches diagonally, and the bezels are also shrunk here, about 25%. And the panel itself is improved as well. It has a 120 hertz refresh rate all the way across the panel, and it adjusts to whatever content is on the screen to give you the most optimal smoothed out experience. It really looks fantastic, just like Samsung's other phones. You've also lost the notch in the corner, replaced just by a regular hole punch display. And this crease, yes, you do notice it on camera and in photos, people are gonna point it out. But when you're using the phone, it really starts to fade away mentally, especially when you're using two different apps side by side, they align right on the crease. 
and Samsung is hoping that the crease isn't going to be getting worse because this display is covered by a UTG or ultra thin glass display covering just like the Galaxy Z Flip. Now I'm sure you're thinking with two screens, one a massive folding screen on the inside and all these extra specs and features, the battery life is taking a hit. Well, there's a 4,500 milliamp hour battery in here, which is the same size as the Galaxy S20 Plus, just like all of the other specs are the same as that phone. Now, my experience with that phone is that even with a 120 hertz display, you could still get a full day of battery life out of it. And I expect the same out of the Galaxy Z Fold 2. Now, the original Galaxy Fold didn't have that great a battery life, but it also had a less efficient processor inside. So with all of the improvements Samsung's made here, you can expect really good battery life, but our full assessment will have to wait for our complete review. So that's everything you need to know about the Galaxy Z Fold 2 5G, Samsung's best foldable phone yet, and arguably the best foldable phone you can get, even with a suggested price of $2,000. Be sure to stick with Digital Trends for more news and a full review of the Galaxy Z Flip 2 5G, and of course, all of the coverage that you expect from every tech category.